Lynn in Michigan. Hey, Lynn, you're on the air with us. What's Hi. Up? Hey, how's it going? Hi. Hi. Uh, Lynn. Are you, can you hear me okay? Yes, we can hear you just fine. Okay. I had a couple weeks ago a rather unusual and maybe slightly spooky experience. And I have an explanation for it, but I would be curious to hear how you guys would would think about it and what kind of uh, what kind of explanation you would come up with. Yes. Okay, let's hear it. Okay. A couple weeks ago, I walked into my kitchen, and there was a cup on the counter. When I walked in the kitchen, the cup moved away from me about, oh, eight or nine inches across the counter. Ooh. Now, you can ask me any questions about what happened, but that was basically what happened. So it moved across the counter, so like, uh, you know, if it's cup, cups right here, it's just kind of moving across, just sliding, right? Yeah. Okay? Yep. Okay. Hmm. Well, what's your first question, Chris? Was the window open or was it windy? <laughs> That's what I was thinking, too. But I thought that was too obvious, right? I don't know, but it's good to ask. Always, no always, always go to obvious. Mm -hmm. there, there are no windows in the kitchen. If you could, Lynn, also, uh, if you could mute the show in the background there, that'd be awesome. Um, it's it's off. My whole internet is off right now. Oh, okay. Let me just move away from I'm, my computer. Maybe that'll help. Yes, yeah, so hear, hearing a bit of an echo. Uh, that's all. Maybe it's a ghost. Maybe that's what it is. But yeah, yeah. Was, was, well, was, the, was the cap upside down? Okay. Well, your first thought was it was wind. Mm -hmm. Right. That'd be yeah. a guess. Yeah. Hello. Can you yeah. hear me? Yeah. So probably yeah. a cup. Yeah, uh, yeah. Was it? Is it a mug? What are we talking about? What kind of cup here? Well, it's a it's like a twelve ounce heavy plastic cup. Okay, twelve ounce heavy. Lighter than glass, but not like a solo cup. Okay. Um, hmm. Was the surface wet at the time? It, yes, it was. Ah. Okay. Okay, and a little closer here, I think. Hmm. Okay, so it's a wet surface. The windows are off. Um, is it probably the air, maybe the air conditioning in the room? No, nope, there was no air conditioning. Okay. No fan. Hmm. What well, was, was the cup upside down? What was that? Was the cup upside down? Was there anything inside the cup? The cup was empty and it was upside down. It was upside down. Okay. Hmm. Uh, obviously, this was an event of quantum physics, right? Some sort of quantum collapse probably happened that that caused an effect on the cup structure. I think that's probably the best explanation. You think that's the best, best explanation? Absolutely. Let me tell you a couple more things. <laughs> okay. I, I was going to go with Spider-Man. Uh... <laughs> that could be it, too. My, my first guess was that I had a spasm of telekinesis. Yeah. Just, just random telekinesis because it happened yeah. as I walked in the kitchen. Got a Stranger Things uh, thing going on. I like it. Not seriously. I'll tell you a couple more things. All right. On my counter, I have a glass cutting board that has kind of a pebbled surface. And it had a thin layer of water on it. And that's where the cup was. Hmm. The, the kitchen is small and kind of narrow. And it was about three feet away from me when it moved. There are no windows, no fans, no air conditioning. A, a cockroach, maybe? I, I don't know. <laughs> no. Hmm. Um, I'll tell you. Okay. When I walked in the kitchen, and I'm on crutches, so I kind of moved quickly into the kitchen, but there's no way I could touch the cup. It was like three feet away from me. I created a breeze, uh, enough of a little puff of air to move it on that. And it was literally floating on air because there was air in the cup floating on this thin layer of water and barely touching the cutting board because it was this pebbly surface. Okay. There we go. I think that's a very reasonable explanation, especially if you just saw it as you were moving in, 
right? So you could see kind yeah. of a clear cause and effect there. Well, sounds like a mystery yeah. solved, gang. Uh, found the culprit. <laughs> Call Scooby Doo. Uh, uh, I just thought it was interesting the kind of questions you ask. Yeah, and, that's and that's you know, what a. Kind of- what a great little exercise there of skepticism, right? Of of how we try to figure out what the best possible explanation is. I'm sure there are people who would see the same event happen and come to the conclusion that oh, there must be something haunting the house, or or you know maybe it was a a ghost, a or, ghost, or an alien, or an, or an angel, or a being. demon, or yeah. I heard a, I, I think it was on your show a couple weeks ago. Mm-hmm. A guy. This is kind of what made me think about calling you guys a, a guy who saw some bottles fly through the air i don't think that was on this show sure were, but yeah yeah uh, sure. he was sure they were demons yeah i mean like this is a way more common than, than what people think there was a, there was a time somebody called into the show when uh they thought they saw demons um uh, when they had left the uh-huh. psychiatric hospital but then they realized later in life that it was probably just bats that were around uh, the building that he uh-huh. was seeing flying around. So, yeah, yeah that like makes sense. It's 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 something that you know we humans like to try to find explanations, try to find the cause to the effects, and sometimes we jump the gun a little bit. But using our powers of reasoning, we can figure out that hey, maybe there is a more likely explanation. So, Lynn, that's a fantastic little story there, and a great way to end the show. Thanks so much for calling with that. I I absolutely love that. <laughs> 